Are you thinking about making the move to LA? As a Brit living in LA, I made the choice to become an Angelino 10 years ago. This channel is all about living in Los Angeles. So if you're interested in learning more about what LA has to offer, this is the channel for you. If you wanna know everything about eating, working, playing, drinking, the good, the bad of living in LA, then subscribe to this channel and tap the little bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current happenings and the market here in LA. My name is Ange Coley Catalano and I'm with Craft & Bauer Real Estate. I get calls, texts and emails every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to LA and asking how I did it. Whether you're thinking about moving here in six days or six months, just give me a call or shoot me a text so I can help you make your move to California smooth. It's so important to have an honest perspective of what it's like to live in this city. Now, you've already heard me going through the many pros of living here, but it's equally important for us to look at the cons. I would say the number one con for LA is the traffic. It's known around the world to be a nightmare, and the proof is in the pudding year after year, because LA is ranked as one of the most congested cities in the country. And if you are going to learn to live here, you'll also have to learn to build in plenty of travel time. You can always expect heavy traffic if you're going downtown and if you're heading to the beach. The best piece of advice that I received before I moved here was to live within the city limits or to choose a neighborhood that's close to where you want to work because otherwise traffic is just gonna take up far too much of your day. Housing tends to be the highest expense in most cities and life in LA is no exception. If you're planning to buy a home here, you'll very quickly learn how challenging the housing market can be here. This is mainly because of a lack of inventory, which drives up the prices, a median home here now averages at around $8,000 and a one bedroom apartment to rent will go for around $2,300 per month. Housing aside, LA is expensive. Unfortunately, with a highly desired location, you also have a high cost of living. You can expect to pay a little more here for groceries, haircuts, even entertainment. So you are going to need to make a decent living wage as basic costs here are much higher. It's no secret that in California, taxes are amongst the highest in the state. And that's really not something that you should take lightly when you're researching whether the move to LA is for you. As Los Angeles is such a massive city that spans over 500 square miles, the neighborhoods are really quite far apart. So you will be driving wherever you go. If you're anything like me, there are only so many hours you can spend in a car. It's a running joke amongst many Angelinos that there's no difference between a friend that lives 15 miles away and one that lives in another state because traffic makes sure that you will never make the effort to see your friends that live in another town. When you live in LA, you quickly learn to adapt and you keep social engagements as close as possible to home because of how far things are. And for me, that's one of the true disadvantages of living here. The competitive job market in Los Angeles is fierce. That's due to the number of qualified candidates and the limited jobs that are available. So snagging your dream job here will mean standing out in a crowd full of applicants. Whilst LA does have buses and a metro system, getting somewhere can take you a long time because the city is so spread out and the public transport system isn't always the most reliable. So you should expect to leave early and build in plenty of traffic time. Even though having a car is more convenient, parking spaces are limited and parking signs are often really hard to decipher. Finding free parking is the holy grail here and you'll usually come across paid meters on the street and if like me you've come from the UK you will be pleased to know that the parking meters here take credit cards so you don't need to carry around pockets full of change. You do need to be aware that LA is prone to earthquakes due to the city being on a fault line. This means that there's a much higher risk of an earthquake happening here. Most of the buildings in the city are built to set standards but having an earthquake plan is crucial for homeowners. Any time you live in a big metropolitan city like Los Angeles, you have to be extra cautious of crime. A piece of advice that I would give you is never to leave your valuables in your car or unattended. It's true that you can't live in LA without seeing detrimental effects of homelessness around you. I will be the first to admit that I don't know what the right solution is, 
but I do want to be transparent with anyone that's considering making the move here. You are going to come across many homeless people, especially in the downtown areas of Skid Row and at the beach, which is really sad to see. Finally, LA is notorious for its smog, its particle and ozone pollution. The prevalence of these pollutants results from so many different factors, including the burning of fossil fuels, vehicles, ships, planes, as well as manufacturing and the wildfires. The dense population and also being a city port also contribute to the really poor air quality at times that you'll find in Los Angeles. I hope you found this overview of LA's attributes useful. Overall, there's still many more positive reasons to live here, but hopefully you now have a complete picture, warts and all. Thanks for watching.